Hello, everyone. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my new sewing DIY video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this jersey maxi dress. Don't be afraid, it's very simple and easy to recreate, and I'm sure you can make it even if you're just a beginner in all this sewing stuff. If you're interested and can't wait to get started, then let's do it! For the materials you'll need some jersey fabric of the color you want your dress to be, thread of the same color and interfacing. For the tools prepare a pair of scissors, chalk, measuring tape, straight pins and sewing machine of course. I will leave all the information about the length and width of the fabric in the description box below, so make sure to check that out. My fabric is 190 cm wide, so its length is equal to the length of my future dress. I need to find the center of my fabric to divide it into two equal parts. So, I found the center and I'm going to draw a line to mark it. Place your fabric on the flat surface and fold each one of two halves of the fabric in half. Make sure that you're folding right sides together. Take your favorite t-shirt, fold it in half and place it on the fabric matching the folded edges of both fabric and t-shirt together. Once you're happy with how your t-shirt lies on the fabric, start tracing it, adding about 1.5 cm as a seam allowance. I want my dress to be quite baggy and that's why I'm adding extra 5 cm to the sides. I traced the neckline, shoulder and sleeve of my t-shirt and now I'm going to draw a straight line connecting the underarm of my dress and its bottom. This is how it looks like. Do the same with another half of the fabric, but don't forget to make neckline bigger on the front piece of the dress. And finally, cut out both pieces. You can make your dress with short sleeves and start sewing it right after cutting out the front and back pieces, but I'm going to make 3 quarter sleeves as well. For the top of the sleeve, measure the end of the sleeve of your dress, because we will be sewing them together, and for the end of the sleeve, measure the width of your arm where the sleeve is going to end. Don't forget to add a couple of centimeters for seams and for hemming the end of the sleeve. So 
So all the pieces we are gonna knit are ready and now it's time to put them together. To prevent my shoulder seams from stretching out, I'll be using a strip of interfacing. I'm just cutting out one and half centimeter wide strip from my interfacing and I'm going to attach it to the shoulder seams of both front and back pieces of my dress. There is some kind of glue on the inside of interfacing and you just need to place it on the fabric and press it with hot iron and it's done. Make sure that you attach it to the inside of the fabric, otherwise you'll have to peel it off and redo everything. You can use two methods to fasten shoulder and side seams together. The first one is to pin them down with straight pins. But I prefer the second one, which is taking them together. This way you can try your clothes on before sewing them with sewing machine to see if everything's okay and fits you well. So I'm just going to tack shoulder and side seams of the dress and underarm seams of the sleeves together and then I'm going to sew everything with sewing machine. But make sure that you're tacking and sewing right sides together. I would suggest to sew jersey fabric with narrow zigzag stitch because it will help you to keep seams stretchy after sewing. After all, overlock the edges of the seams with white zigzag stitch or overlocker if you have one. This will give you nice and neat look. Don't forget to remove temporary hand stitch after sewing everything. Measure the length of the neckline of your dress and cut out a rectangle of this length plus 1 cm for the seam. The width of the rectangle should be about 5 cm. You can attach an interfacing to the inside of the rectangle to prevent it from stretching out. Sew so two ends of the rectangle together with 5 mm seam. Then iron the seam. Fold this kind of loop that you have in half and iron it as well. Then tack it into the neckline of the dress and sew it around with sewing machine. This is what I got as a result. Tack in and sew around the sleeves as well, matching underarm seam of the sleeve and side seam of the dress. Again, make sure that you're sewing right sides together. And the final step is to hem and sew around the bottom of the dress and ends of the sleeves. You can sew it with zigzag stitch or with normal straight stitch using double machine needle. Remove temporary hand stitch after sewing. And yeah, your dress is ready! Thank you very much for watching, give it a thumbs up if you like this tutorial, share it with your friends and subscribe for more videos. Bye bye!